Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand about the Postman command line execution and Postman CLI basically. So we have understood about the manual execution or manual execution of the whole collection when we run the collection. So we can basically go to the ellipses here for the collection. And if we say run collection, in the previous two videos, we have understood about how you can run a collection manually or schedule the run periodically to run it periodically um, at a specified time on the postman cloud right so running manually is very specific to the app basically you have to select manually and then you run the collection using this particular button that is available right after doing all the configuration scheduling the run is when you schedule it it runs at a specified a specified point of time on the postman cloud now when you have when you when we are learning the api automation we have to understand how we can basically run the collections in the cli right so we have the automate runs via the command line right so we can we have this postman cli so that we will use to basically run the whole collection on the postman cli so this is the new tool that has been uh that is available from the postman uh, already and we can download this command line uh, postman cli and run the execution from the postman cli so we'll understand the whole cli uh, execution and doing the automated run through the cli and then we'll move further to the newman right so newman will be more new newman is open source and postman cli is more of a proprietary so it might become paid in future uh, but newman is open source it's also from postman but it's open source so should be um, good enough to basically configure a newman and then do the same so basically whether you run your postman collection through the cli or newman and result is going to be same right so in order to run on a postman cli you simply click on this download postman cli okay and below this you will see that they have already provided for the collection the command is already provided here and with the collection whatever collection we have chosen to run along with the environment that is being selected so this hyphen e and this key is for the environment and this is the key for the or the id for the collection that we want to run and the command is basically postman collection run and the id of the collection then hyphen e is the environment that is being selected so for example if i say no environment you will see that command has automatically updated and environment is gone hyphen e is gone right so if you select an environment because we know that this specific collection is going to run on a particular jira environment that i am signed in for okay so i'll choose that environment and that id of the environment is also populated automatically so most of the things are provided very easily within postman but i'll also show you how you can get this id collection id or the environment id as well if you don't get it here okay but before that let's understand how you can download the postman cli and install it okay so you can directly follow this link but in case you are not able to uh, see this particular link or follow this link you can directly search for postman cli download and it will give give you this particular link the first link that i can see so installing the postman cli this is a blog post and you can simply follow this particular link and it will redirect you to the same using the postman cli the official learning.postman.com page right and from here you will see what all system requirement windows mac and a linux installation details are there i'll also open the link this download postman cli i'll click on this and you will see that it redirects to the same exactly same page right so you will see that it, it, it is the same page where it will redirect so now here for the windows because i'm on the windows you will see that a postman cli supports the same operating system requirement as the postman desktop app right so basically i'm using desktop apps that means cli will be absolutely fine for me and if you're running postman app on your desktop cli obviously will be able to download right now the install script so what exactly you have to do is you run the following command to install postman cli for windows this will download and install script and run it okay it will also create this particular profile and directory if it doesn't exist and then installs postman binary so basically what we have to do is we simply have to copy this particular command okay and then simply run this particular command okay where in the command so i'll open the command line i'll paste it okay and simply enter and let's see the execution so you'll see it has already started right and you'll see postman cli has been installed the message already right 
so it's as it, it's this simple to install postman cli all right so now how can i go ahead now cli has been installed right so now i should be able to execute the postman collection so if i go here okay now the first thing in order to run this collection is if you will see that here we have this postman space login right or it, let me in the command line let me now start typing or just type in postman okay so let's see postman and enter and see what happens now should actually give me some of the commands right so now because this cli has been installed now in the command prompt itself postman command has been able to recognize right because cli has been installed which is postman cli so you will see in the command prompt windows command prompt itself you will see all of the details now if i say postman hyphen v as you see here hyphen v is for the version okay then it should display the postman version that i am using okay so you'll see 1.2.0 it's it's that the uh, it, it will output the version number okay and then hyphen h for the help command all right the other command is basically command which is collection run the run and test your postman collections directly from the command line okay and then login and log out option right so basically you can log in right with the uh, with the api key and then log out as well from the command so the first command that you see here is postman space login and then the api key so in order to run any collection first we have to log in to other postman instance right so if you see here there's the desktop instance of postman and i'm logged in right so i'm logged in and then i'm able to see all the collection and everything okay so in order to run this collection from the command line interface first we have to log in from the command line interface right so in order to log in or give access to command line to this command prompt to the collection that i want to run that is there hosted uh, at the postman i will say postman login and then api key so here i can simply to get the api key i can simply click on this add api key okay and it will generate and add the api key there okay so let me quickly pause the video i'll generate this api key copy the command and then log in in the command line interface okay so once i'll add the api key click on it you will see that this particular window will pop up for you i'll click on generate key i'll put the name here so i'll say api key okay and then simply generate it okay so now we pause it so now you'll see that this key has been generated api key for me and it has been inserted here okay so now simply i'll go ahead and copy this whole command so the first command will be the login which will log in and then the collection will be run on this particular environment okay so now if i go to the command line here and paste this particular command okay you'll see the postman login with api key all right that's the first command and then you will see the next command that it has copied so basically you'll see logged in with api key of the user right and login was successful and then the next command is the collection runner okay which is basically postman collection run and the id of the collection and then hyphen e then id of the environment on which this particular command will be okay so now if i want to run this collection i'll simply enter okay and then this collection run will okay so you'll see that the collection has been run okay and what has what is the error basically so json invalid url okay so invalid rest api so okay so basically the environment or the url is not being resolved here right so you can see that uri the host name hasn't been able to resolve and that is why this error has appeared okay so how we can go ahead and fix this let's quickly understand that so i'll go to postman and we will go to the details here okay so looks like when we go to the environment let's see where we have stored all of those details so in the environment we have the host name username and jira token right so you'll see that host name is coming from the environment variable now if you're running your collection through the command line okay postman cli you will see that here in the initial value right so here in initial value this initial value is blank right and when you are running through the command line interface this is the value that is being referenced so we have to make sure that these values are also present so whatever value you are trying to use in the hostname username and password need to be present here in the initial value now because this was blank the hostname error and further errors will come so let's quickly copy the same value so one way is basically you copy and paste the current value in the initial value 
or go to the ellipses here okay three ellipses and then there is a option to persist all okay so if you click on persist all you will see all of these current value is copied here we will save it and then go to the collection again all right and then i will click on run collection let's go through and click on automate copy this command right now because we are already logged in so it should be all good now so if i go ahead and paste we haven't got the api key at the api i'll generate another api insert let me clear the screen and paste the login command if you're already logged in then you'll see logged in using uh, the key so it has logged in successfully and now we can go ahead and run this collection postman collection run right and the environment on which to run so i'll click enter and then let's see whether it's successful this so yes it is running through successfully and you'll see that it has already executed all of those requests okay and then you will see executed iterations requests the test scripts how many are there pre-request scripts and assertions all of those are being executed and then you can go to this particular location to see the run result right so this is the url if you simply go ahead and copy and paste in your postman account you will be able to see how the execution went through so i'll simply copy it and if i go to the this particular url so this is the web version of postman and you will see this is the result right so basically it ran on 1151 right and you will see the duration etc what is the source so source is postman cli it's not manual so you'll see the source has been recorded here and all of the execution that has been executed in the summary you will get all the summary right now if we go ahead and see the jira issue so you'll get the jira issue created as well because the execution has been has happened success. all right so this is briefly about the execution through the postman command line interface okay now the other thing i want to cover quickly is how you can basically get the collection id okay and the environment id right from postman if say for example here you are not able to get this particular command okay so you simply go to the collection all right click on the collection so if you go to the collection click on the collection here and you have this i info button okay so on the collection you will see that when you click on that info button it will open this collection detail and this is the id for that particular collection ending with 93c67 right so you'll see that same id is being picked up here and populated right 93c6 similarly for the environment how you can get that particular id you go to the environments okay and click on the ellipses here okay or simply on the environment click on the environment and you will see this info button here click on the info button you will see the environment detail and this is the id for the environment details right you can simply copy that environment id and use it if you are not able to get that environment id directly from the collection run okay so this is briefly about the postman command line interface in the next video i'll cover a few more topics around postman collection runner through postman cl so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching